Welcome to the third video in this series on Qigong trauma and addiction. My name is Dr. Michael Smith, and I'm the founder of the Soma Dao Qigong Process and Teacher Training Program. If you have not read the article on my website, somadaoqigong.com, on trauma and addiction, or if you have not seen the previous two videos, I encourage you to check them out first because this video will make a lot more sense and some of the terminology and practices uh, will be things you've already experienced. The third wound of trauma, in my experience, is called social disorientation or a loss of trust. Trust is a powerful force in our lives, and if you've had a very difficult life in the sense of trauma, especially a difficult childhood, it's fairly reasonable for you to have lost trust in other people, especially people you don't know, and even perhaps people you know. More importantly, if you've experienced enough trauma as a child, you may have lost some aspects of trusting yourself. And that's very disorienting in our social relationships and how we feel that we fit into the world. And in fact, I would say that fitting in is more of a reaction to the world, whereas belonging is an instinct on how to be in the world. In this video, you will learn an ancient Taoist practice for releasing karma, embodied distress, as well as traumatic memories that can be stored in your somatic experience or your embodied experience. It's a fairly established scientific fact that traumatic memories can be stored in your nerves, muscles, your fascia, and what we would call your acupuncture meridians. I'm going to demonstrate this practice seated. You can try it standing, but you may find yourself getting a bit dizzy, so I would recommend doing it seated the first time. You can also follow along this practice lying down. So take a moment and prepare yourself for the next about 15 minutes of becoming very aware of your felt sense, your embodied experience, and connecting very tangibly to your breath and to some breath work. Let's begin our practice by bowing in three times. Inhale deeply, exhale. So in our third practice, we're going to focus very internally with some very small gestures and a lot of focus on our breath, on collapsing the front of our body and extending our spine tilting forward and tilting backwards. So make sure you're feeling comfortable and that your body is healthy enough to do those things without any possible risk. If you're concerned, talk with your primary clinician before you begin this kind of practice. And again, we're working with releasing trauma. So it is quite possible that you may find some emotion or some memories coming up. So take a moment and make sure that you're comfortable with that experience. Let's begin. So bring your awareness to your breath and just inhale deeply all the way in and then exhale all the way out. Now I'm doing this with my mouth closed and I'm gonna breathe with just enough force to hear my breath moving through my sinuses. As I inhale, I want to fill my belly, open my diaphragm, and then fill my chest. As I exhale, I want to empty my chest, relax my diaphragm, and let the breath empty out of my belly by pulling my belly button just slightly towards my spine. And as I inhale, I want to stretch out my belly button away from my spine. As I exhale, I want my belly button to move towards my spine. Now you'll be hearing the heartbeat in the background, so try and count your breathing. How many heartbeats as you inhale, how many heartbeats as you exhale, 
stretching your belly button away from your spine and then letting your belly button move towards your spine. So my spine and my belly button, inhale, exhale. Now I want to inhale, moving my belly button away, and then hold my belly button still so now I can feel the sides of my body filling with breath. Exhale, let the sides fall in. Exhale all the way, letting my belly button move towards my back. Inhale, inhale, inhale to the sides, exhale. Empty the body front and back. Continue breathing that way. Inhale, front and back, side to side, exhale. So as I'm breathing that way, I'm also going to begin rocking my pelvis and letting my spine collapse and extend itself. To make that easier to see, I'm going to turn the chair to the side for most of the rest of this video. Now as I inhale, I want to inhale front and back, side to side, and then up and down. As I exhale, I'm going to relax the up and down by letting my body collapse a bit and allowing my tailbone to gently tuck forward just a little bit. And as I inhale, I'm going to expand my belly, fill the sides, and then as I inhale some more, I want to stretch my tailbone downwards and backwards, just like this, almost like a puppy wagging its tail, and then letting my, the top of my head reach upwards. So I exhale, top of my head moving towards my tailbone as my tailbone moves towards the front, collapsing the sides, collapsing the belly in, pulling the belly button in, inhale, belly button out, sides out, tailbone down and back, top of the head up. Exhale, coming down, sides come in, belly comes back. Now that's a lot of details to play with. The most important thing to keep your awareness on for now is that as you exhale, your body collapses a little, and as you inhale, your body expands up and down as much as is comfortable without holding a lot of tension in your back or your neck. As we move towards a more internally focused practice, what we want to feel as if there's an elastic band connecting your tailbone to the top of your head. So if I take a breath and exhale, and then inhale, tailbone goes down and back, top of the head reaches upwards towards the sky. Exhale, I'm just going to focus on my tailbone and the top of my head. Now breathe in deep and slow, but with, with just enough force that you can hear your breath moving through your uh, nose or if your mouth is open through your mouth. Now, as simple as that is, in a way, it actually engages a part of your parasympathetic or your rest, digest, calming down nervous system. So the more you become very aware of your tailbone, your sacrum, of collapsing into a restful place, rocking your tailbone and sacrum back, extending upwards into a more curious and playful place. If you remember from the previous videos, we want to feel like our periscope is moving upwards, but with curiosity, not with vigilance. And 
become still and just focus on your breathing for a moment. Bring your awareness into your belly and your chest and your solar plexus and feel inside of yourself for any kind of discomfort, any kind of tension, any experience of being wounded in your life at all. And I mean wounded in every possible way. as you may feel any kind of constraint or tension in your chest, around your solar plexus and diaphragm, into your belly, into your pelvis, your pelvic floor. Just notice that you're feeling something that you've been feeling unconsciously for a long time. Now we're just choosing to make that experience conscious and an opportunity to heal. When you're ready to begin interacting with that discomfort, begin rocking forward and backwards. I don't want to rock so far backwards that I feel tension or stiffness, just enough that I feel a kind of release. So I don't feel like I'm falling, but in a way it's like that trust game we used to play as children or we fall back and hopefully someone catches us. Keeping in mind that this wound of social disorientation has a lot to do with loss of trust, I want to allow myself to feel some trust of my environment and myself and my practice. So I do that by just gently falling back and opening my body. And falling forward, trusting that I can kind of fall into a place of rest and healing and to restore myself from within. And I come back up, top of my head up, tailbone down, and then falling backwards into a trust of what's around me. So now we're going to combine the movement with our breath. So I'm going to inhale as I rock forward. Exhale and relax. Inhale as I come up to vertical. Exhale and relax. Inhale as I rock backwards. Exhale as I release. Inhale as I come back to vertical. Exhale and release. Inhale as I come forward. Exhale and release. Inhale as I come up. And exhale into a good posture. So now bring your awareness to that feeling of distress that you may have found in your chest, your diaphragm, your belly, and or your pelvis. As I inhale and rock forward, which we'll do in a moment, I'm going to imitate that tension, kind of like I'm a cartoon character, I mean, making a bit of fun of myself, not out of any kind of shame, but out of a kind of playful curiosity. What is this feeling like? What's it about? So now I'm going to rock forward, inhaling and imitating some tension. And as I exhale, I'm going to let that tension just fall out of my body. 
Inhale, come up. And relax into a good posture. Going to inhale, imitating my tension as I rock back. And then as I exhale, I'm going to let that tension go and feel a kind of trust in my practice and in myself. Inhale and come back. Exhale, enter into a good posture. Inhale, moving forward, imitating my tension. Exhale, releasing all of the tension out of my body, belly, diaphragm, and chest. Inhale, coming back up, filling the belly and chest. Exhale, opening backwards, just a little bit. I'm going to inhale, rocking back farther, imitating my tension. Exhale, melting and softening into trust. Inhale, come back up. Stretching out between my tailbone and the top of my head. Exhale, coming back into a regular posture. So we're going to continue to do the same kind of breathing with the same kind of imitation. It's just now our physical imitation is going to be less dramatic and more about just feeling it enough to just acknowledge the feeling, not necessarily the action. Now as we move into this more gentle quality of our breathing, we're also going to imagine that we're in a kind of rain. Now this might be a very warm kind of tropical rain that for some reason makes you more comfortable and less uncomfortable. And I'm also going to feel that as I rock forward, and I'll just speak through this, as I inhale and rock forward, imitating the feeling more than the gesture, as I begin to exhale, I'm going to feel the rain washing away the memory, the karma, the pain that may be still somewhere within my body. So as I exhale, the rain is going to wash my body and my energy clear. As I inhale and come back up, stretching my tailbone and the top of my head, I'm going to feel my willingness to resolve and heal my life. And I tilt backwards, inhaling, imitating the feeling, feeling the rain washing down my face in the front of my body. As I exhale, Letting the rain just wash my body clean. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, feeling that centeredness, a resolve to heal. Inhale, rocking forward, imitating the feeling, feeling a rain, feeling the woundedness, exhaling. Letting the rain bathe my being, cleaning my karma. Inhale, stretch out your tailbone and the tip of the top of your head. Exhale, find your center. Inhale, tilting back. Feeling the rain washing down the front of your body. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. So consider that a karmic cleansing bath that you can do over and over and over again. Follow the video enough times that you become familiar with that practice and then practice it on your own anytime you need to. And in a way you can do it invisibly. So if you're on a bus or in a meeting with people or just waiting in many of the places we have to wait in our lives, I can just sit, inhale, just letting that rain clean my being, 
inhale, exhale, coming back, back to center, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So we're going to do the same exercise again. It's just now we're going to imagine that we're under a very bright blue sky with a really warm sun, not too hot, but warm enough that we feel very comfortable. So again, I'm going to inhale, exhale, inhale, come forward, Exhale, and let the sunlight just clean my whole being and my back. Just let the sunlight pour through your whole body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming back, basking in the sun. Exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, letting the sun just bathe your meridians, your energy body, as if it can just move through you, kind of like an x-ray, but in the healing sense. Just breaking up and resolving any energy that's stuck you up from that part of your past. Inhale. Find your center. Inhale. Exhale. Trusting the sunlight to heal your being. Inhale. Let's do one as if we're in public in some way. Inhale up and down. Exhale. Inhale, rocking forward. Exhale. Melting and allowing the sun to clean your body on the inside. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale. Just finding peace within your being. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stretching your tailbone and top of your head. Exhale, coming back to center and stillness. Inhale. Allow your energy to settle. Let's inhale once more and then bow out of our practice. Thank you for sharing this experience with me. And I hope to see you in video four of this series on Qigong trauma and addiction.